How's it going guys? I hope you're having a great day. And today I'm gonna to show you around my new 1997 Jeep Wrangler TJ. Now this thing when I got it, definitely needed some love. Um, bought it, I wanna say about a month ago. This one I want it to be sort of a quick build, turn it around pretty quick. And uh, just wanted to go with something a little bit more out there. Wanted something just unique, different. A lot of these Jeeps, I, I can't stand like some of the basic colors on them. Um, not to say there's anything wrong with it, but I, I don't like silvers, I don't like yellows, blacks, just the really common colors. And uh, this thing was black when I got it, so I definitely wanted to take the opportunity to give it an entire respray and just make it a lot more interesting color. So I feel like if you have the opportunity to get your Jeep respray, definitely paint it something that's really interesting because it'll just make you stand out from the crowd. And uh, I feel like that's what I did with this purple. It may not be everybody's taste, but if you're driving in traffic, it's definitely going to make you pop from everybody else. And it's just, it, I think it really complements this type of Jeep. I feel like this color it would not look good on just about any car. Like I do a lot of Miatas as well. If you guys have seen my some of my other videos, you might see a couple Miatas in there. This color, for example, would not look good on one of those cars. In my opinion, just because the lines are so bubbly and whatever, this thing is just, it's such a rugged looking vehicle. I feel like if you just put any crazy color on it, it would just look good. So that's kind of what I went with. This color is called Plum Crazy. It shows up on the 2010 to 13 Wrangler JKs and also shows up on the Dodge Challengers and Chargers. Except those, I think that color is slightly different for the Dodges than it is for the Wranglers. So I think there is more blue in that one. And that's the color I went with. I went with the bluer one. And it's a subtle difference. It's a subtle difference. It's only just a little bit darker and just the, probably a couple more drops of blue in the actual paint than, than the regular color itself. But this color, I think it's something similar to what I've seen on a TJ. I think there is a TJ out there that probably came with a color that's similar to this. You could correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought there is. I could have sworn I seen one maybe. But did my usual stuff, put the flat style fender flares on it. My truck light style headlights, which I really like. It just cleans up the look of these old TJs. It just makes them look so modern. But this thing, when I got it, it, already had a few good things on it, which I really liked. It had these cool bumpers with a mild, this one's got a mild stinger on it. The D-rings I slapped on. Uh, it has a two and a half inch lift. It's got the, yeah, you see the hockey puck right there. Which is all right. You know, it definitely rides, rides good and all that. You know, I'm probably not gonna change that. I'm gonna leave that for right now. But just kind of bought it as a little summer toy because I have my other one and uh, probably going down a really bad path right now because these I feel like whenever I see a cheap one for sale I'm just going to hop on it and buy it and pretty soon this whole entire place is going to be filled with Jeeps. So off to a good start with that. So but honestly I feel like what you could pick these things up for and what you could turn them into it's definitely a steal. These Jeeps, I mean they're, they're incredible for what they are, they're super reliable. And uh, for some reason, they, I feel like they all drive different. I don't think you could get two Jeep Wranglers and put them together and have them be driving similar. Each one drives a little different and feels a little different, feels a little stiffer, feels a little looser, you know, in terms of suspension or just feel or whatever. But they're just super interesting, super interesting vehicles and they just, they're just so much fun. And uh, I'm glad this one has a soft top on it because I switched the soft top and half doors on my other Jeep for the hard top and full doors. And I kind of miss it because this, you could really easily just fold it back, slide out the half doors and you're going topless at that point. And with the hard top and full doors, you know, you have to take the doors off and you need two people to take the hard top off and you got to unscrew all these bolts. And I've learned it's a little bit of a hassle sometimes, especially when you don't have someone else readily available to take the top off with you. Or at least have a crane. I've seen people have those little uh, pulley, pulley systems in their garage where they just take the top off. That's really cool. I do like that, but I don't have a garage like that for right now. 
So I just have it usually sitting around somewhere or the top sitting around somewhere. But this is really cool. Uh, I understand the color not, might not be everybody's taste, but it's definitely a very uh, out there kind of color and I like that. I feel like these Jeeps, if you put a color like this on it, it'll definitely, definitely make it stand out. But things I've done to this, I could put a couple pictures of how this thing used to look before. Uh, it used to be black. I think it used to be, I think it had original factory paint on it because it doesn't look like it had any respray anywhere. The uh, hood actually ended up opening up on the previous owner and smacking the top of the windshield. So ended up cracking the windshield, replaced that, replaced the hood, replaced the metal fenders on either side. Uh, I just got in the habit of doing that whenever I come across a Wrangler like this to just replace those rusty fenders and uh, put these nice aftermarket ones on there which probably won't rust out for a couple years. I don't know how long it's gonna last but have it on my other one for a year and still seems pretty good. But just got in the habit of doing that. If you, I guess if you're familiar with it and all that, it doesn't take you that long to do it. I think it took me about, I don't know, three hours to do both of them. Well, not too crazy. Put the newer style mirrors on it because I just, I really like how these things look. You know, the mirror actually pivots on the inside instead of the whole outside and just, it, it makes it look a lot more modern. I'm trying to modernize this Jeep and just make it look, just clean it up a bit. I really do like how these flat style fender flares look and uh, gonna get some rock sliders for it. Gonna get the underneath undercoated, bedline the bumpers front and back or yeah front and back and just get this thing cleaned up really nice <clears throat> probably gonna have to get some bigger tires for it as well too they just the tires look a little bit small for me realizing that now but yeah when I got this thing it was missing carpets all the seats were destroyed they had these really rickety nasty raggedy covers on it Steering wheels ripped. Basically everything you would expect for a cheap Wrangler this thing had and just replaced the seats front and back with this nice triangle style pattern. Threw in some carpets and turned out to be pretty nice. I like how the gray looks with the outside actually. It's nice light color on the inside with the popping color on the outside. Definitely made it look pretty interesting. So the interior is Pretty nice. Drives pretty good, clutch feels nice. It doesn't grind in reverse at all, which I think is unheard of for an old Jeep like that with 140,000 miles. Well, I guess that's not too many miles. So. And also, if you guys run into an issue with, I guess any of the Jeep doors where they, the stripping comes off on the bottom, I used a 3M uh, windshield urethane and uh, just glued it back on. So I think I've been going a couple days and it hasn't come apart. So I will report back within the next couple weeks how that's turned out, if that's still holding. But yeah, so that's just a quick walk around of my new to me 97 Jeep TJ. I'll probably do a couple quick videos about, you know, undercoating and maybe bedlining some of that stuff, as well as the rock sliders. I feel like the rock sliders would be a good video because it'd be short and sweet and uh, wouldn't have to struggle with somehow mounting the camera and you know I feel like with recording a video I definitely wanted to do a video of restoring this thing but with the amount of work it needed in the short amount of time or short window I had this past weekend to get it done it would have been pretty difficult for me to actually make a video so I, f I will do that at some point in the future I will make a video about uh, restoring a car and I feel like it'd be a cool video to make but um, if you guys enjoyed the video Definitely like it. Uh, appreciate you guys' support and over a thousand subscribers now, so I really appreciate you guys uh, watching this stuff and commenting and liking and subscribing especially. So catch you guys on the next one and we'll be back soon.